Oh god, it's the corridor. <laughs> For real this time. looking down there does that mean anything oh really trippy ah maybe it just indicates the floor then because that eyes looking in the center Bigger eye, always nice. Oh. <laughs> hmm. This one? Just follow the music. Pretty obvious though, isn't it? Big dumb. Thank you. It's so interesting because the game's palette is so muted, this purple is so strong.
Hang on, what's over here? Ah, it just takes you back. I guess you go that way because I can hear breathing in here and I don't much like it. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, six. It's me. No? You want your music box. Come on, Six! Thank you. What are we doing? I don't want to fight! I don't have to, do I? I don't like where this is going. Oh. oh, I need to smash that open. I don't like what that implies. I don't want to do it again. This ain't easy. This ain't easy. Fuck no. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, shall we keep running or what? Usually we do, it goes in threes, so... Uh, uh, no? Are we done? Okay. Ah! One last time, eh? What now? Did I- did my axe break or what? Oh, it's over there. I see. <laughs> Fuck, I got squished. <laughs> Oopsie. to grab it and then pull it down, I'd imagine. of me. did it. I'm sorry, Six, but I have to put it down.
Uh, take two. <laughs> thing. God, it's so disturbing seeing six like this. It does make you think, is it a prequel or is it a sequel? Like, you know, after everything that happened on the moor and everything. I'm sorry, six. Oh god. Six. You okay? Hi. Uh oh. Come on. Oh god. No, 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 I was too slow. Being a bitch. Ugh. Man. Then again, she did devour people's souls at one point. So, she's not exactly uh, the nicest person ever. Then again, they were trying to eat her, so maybe it's, you know. You're the king of the eyeballs and the goop. Oh dear. Uh -huh.
No way. No. He's the thin man? No. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> oh, God. Chasing ourselves then? What? Huh? I, uh, hmm. Where'd you get the hat? So what, we get like... Uh, 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 I'm confused. <laughs> uh, we are the tall man. But... Oh... But I... Uh, um, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Um... Um... That was it. Oh, what? I'm so confused. After finishing the game, I discovered that there is a secret ending that you can get when you cap when you find all of the glitched remains. So I ended up going back and finding them all, and at the same time, I decided to do all the achievements. And I did record it all. I didn't record voiceover for most of it, but that's fine, isn't it? That's actually a plus. So I'll just have a little compilation of me getting everything. And then we'll go to the additional scene for the ending.
I got one glitched remains to get and two more hats. So I need to figure out where they are. This is it, right? It means the window in here then. Aha. Look at this. I would have never thought to do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are rats. There's a bird as well. Aww. We. So I have to go back. And into the one over here. See, I would have never thought of that. Ah! Oh my god, there's a picture of the lady and everything. Huh, interesting, interesting. There we go. I got all of them. And this one? Got it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oi. 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 Ah. Depth perception. Who needs it? I'm half blind anyway, you know. My left eye ain't that good. <laughs> Why do you think one of my favorite characters is a one eyed weirdo? <laughs> I relate. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Okay, here we go. Here's the dog pee pooping. I really can't tell. But I'm guessing because that's coming out of the butt hole. It's meant to be pooping, right? But I guess it's just poo. Let's just pretend it's poo. Oh, look, a hat. Let's stop talking about poo. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all of the hats, except for the pre-order bonus hat, which obviously I did not get. So I'm going to have that annoying empty slot for the remainder. So they reshape themselves, or they shape his perception, I guess, much like they did with Six. Uh, with a freaky monster form and all that. And they shape it so he's all alone. Orn is lonesome, and they use his powers, or his abilities, to control the people. Ah, uh, or something like that, right? Hmm.
Hmm. It's the shadow you see throughout the first game when she's hungry. And that's a picture of them all! <laughs> so it's like guiding her. Or is that part of her? Because when she... <laughs> uh, interesting, interesting. When she, um... originally right uh went to the moor there was that thing following her around and when when she was taken by the tall man that was what was left it was the remains almost like they were all taken by the tall man a thin man sorry thin man they were all taken by the thin man and those were their remains but it seems hers is separated off so it's like a part of herself it's trying to lead her there maybe to join back together because after everything, I mean, you do see it while she's feeding, when she's hungry. I guess maybe that's what gives her the hunger or something from lacking that part of herself. I don't know. And then when she eats the lady, that's not a problem anymore. And she has so coo coo super cool, I'm going to eat your soul powers. <laughs> you know? Huh. Okay. So it's definitely a prequel. That's for sure. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Uh, I know there's also that mobile game, Very Little Nightmares, but I haven't played that because I don't play mobile games. Um, but I know that's also set, so I guess the order is Very Little Nightmares, Little Nightmares 2, then uh, Little Nightmares. So I don't know if they're going to make a third one. Maybe they will. Not sure. I mean... Does it necessarily need one? No, I guess it goes in a full circle, but being able to see them break the loop would be kind of neat. How different things would end up being. Not quite sure. I mean, if 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 Mono is able to break the loop, then Six would never be taken into that world and would never have that split, I suppose. So she would never need to go to the moor. It does make me wonder about like the theories of, oh, is Six the, uh, the ladies daughter because that's still a big theory and, and why like the boatman in the comics and stuff why did he take six to the moor anyway other than maybe she offered herself up to be fed or something and then she went and then she hid in the moor somewhere or whatever i'm not sure oh she came with the suitcase so i don't know about that uh i'm really not sure is she just a someone or is she that someone is she the lady's daughter or descendant or what have you i mean i think we can theorize that the granny was the original lady so maybe it's a succession thing so she was and then the lady took over and then six's turn now maybe that's why they brought her in the first place but then i'm not sure because why did they keep her in a friggin suitcase then or was that her, how she hid and stowed away on it? I don't think that's how it was implied uh, that that happened. Hmm. Not sure. But we know that she was led there now by her split, shadowy, glitchy remains that never returned to her, I suppose. Uh, and she gained the hunger. She needed to eat and feed and feed and feed and feed and eat and eat and eat and eat, you know. Hmm, interesting. Like, what was... Mm. I, uh, maybe I don't... Maybe I don't get it, because... The lady was constantly trying to kill Six. So if it was a succession thing... Then the lady clearly wasn't okay with it. Uh, she clearly wanted to continue i mean that was the whole visual of uh, you see her in the mirror and she's ugly and, and horrible looking you know 
So I guess maybe the more they suck up souls and stuff, the more distorted and ugly they become. Much like the uh, the guests and that who eat the children, right? They're, they're devouring their... It's a similar concept, I suppose, except less supernatural. It's just cannibalism, you know? Um... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, this world is certainly interesting that you have the room to theorize and think about it, you know? It's neat. I think that's all I need to show you. That's the game. I really liked it. Actually, I got all the achievements. I 100%ed it, which I didn't do with the first game. Maybe I should go back and uh, do that at some point. I need to do all, get all the collectibles and... Uh, I think I got all the gnomes in the original, in the main game. I need to do all the uh, DLC stuff. And... Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I need to do the speedrunny one. I haven't done that one yet. My brother was trying to do it and he kept struggling and giving up over and over again. He's, I don't think he's done it yet. He gave me it's frustrating. <laughs> like, oh, you keep at it. If you keep giving up, then you're never going to get it, are you? I guess I'm a... Yeah. I mean, I have been 100%ing a lot more games recently. I mean, I decided like a weirdo, even though you don't have to do this to 100% achievement-wise, I decided to fully 100% my Yakuza 3 save. And I'm never doing it again. 